well no the walking and running is working fine but i'm gonna tell you that i want to delete everything and uh, show you another thing of course this is okay but you see going right and going left running right running left it's not working as we want so uh, running backward is not okay walking backward is not okay nothing is okay we just have run and walk so i want to show you something else uh, that called blend space 2d in last video we did talk about blend space 1d and now let's just talk about blend space 2d so First of all, I'm gonna go to event graph and delete this printer string because we don't need it anymore. We need we needed to know about the speed, right? And no, again, I wanna go to content drawer when we create our bl blend space run walk. No, I wanna right click, go to animation. The next option is blend space, and this blend space is blend space blend space 2D, right? Click on it, and again, it will tell you which skeleton you wanna select so click on the merdark and i want to call it bs2 for blend space 2 run walk okay and these are i want it to be uppercase so bs2 run walk so now with that let's just double click on it to open it and in this it will give us a horizontal and vertical you can decide which one you want to use for a speed right so i want to use this vertical for the speed so again we can go to axis setting in here in vertical axis and i, I want to change the name to a speed okay or whatever name you want the minimum we know that it is zero and maximum is 400 right everything cool we have the vertical axis as a speed but we have horizontal axis and why i need this very horizontal axis is for when we go right left backward and all of that right or we go this way you can see 45 degree 45 degree we, we need to uh, strafe right so like every game that you can see out there no in in the horizontal axis i want to call it direction okay direction that we should go and the direction i want it to be between minus 180 and 180 okay because uh, around us it's 360 so divide by two it's between minus 180 and 180 right so no let's just do the run that we search in here for running forward is when the speed is 400 so let's just put that in here you can see when I want to put it in there, it's not working right. It's not a snapping. So I want to uh, enable this snap to the grid for both horizontal and vertical. No, I can put it wherever I want. Next up, what I want to do, I want to search for walk, right? right? Walk forward. And we need to, we need it to be here. Like the video before this video, we need, we need to walk when the speed is 180. So for vertical axis, that is this one, I want to change the grid division to 20 again. Okay. And now with that, we can put it in here for 180 that you can see in here, right? And for the zero, when the speed is zero, we wanted the idle, right? Idle, let's just search for that and put it here. Now, if you hold control and we can again run and walk or go to idle, right? But we didn't do nothing about this direction that we want to go. I want to show you something before doing anything else. Let's just go here. We have the speed, right? We get the velocity of our character and we calculate the length of the that speed that is a vector and we put it in a speed, right? We know we need the direction, how we can get the direction. So for getting the direction, let's just move this a little bit to here so it will be better aligned. And I want to get the direction, right? Get the direction of our character. Can we say get direction? So if we search for it, get direction is not is not in here so what we can use we can use the rotation of our character right we get we say get actor rotation okay 
and now with this get actor rotation it will give us the rotation of our actor and with that we can get the direction we can say search for direction and just enable this context sensitive and you can see it give us two options calculate direction and calculate direction in the utilities animation both of them are the same so click the calculate direction and it need the velocity so we can get the velocity from here and connect it to here the target itself it is it is okay and now we have the direction and it is a float value because it is green right so again let's just create a variable in here and i want to call it direction okay direction and change the uh, variable type to float okay now we want to set it so let's just set it in here by dragging and dropping it put it here because it needs an execution pin and with that value we can calculate the direction and now we have the direction to use it on our animation right so now let's just see the direction so i want to say print a string to see the direction print a string and i want to show this float value right everything cool now let's just compile and run the direction no is zero if we go forward again it's zero if we go right it's 90 if we go left it's minus 90 if we go back it's 180 or minus 180 both of them are the same so minus 90 90 and forward is zero so with that information let's just go to our blender space again we know it that we need it to be from one minus 180 and 180 so if we go if we want to go right we the direction will be 90 you know that right so let's just search for right or walk right walk right this one okay where we should put this this is for walk so the walk speed is 180 so we should put it here right so let me hold control and it can see it it go into the right and if you go here it go forward you can see it working right so uh, in here let's just search for left and for walk left so with that where we should put this animation in our blender space we know that it is walk right so the speed should be should be 180 and the direction should be minus 90 so let's just put it here okay now if you hold control we can go to right go to left okay or between 45 degree like this it worked fine right so no for walking backward when we walk backward let me show you again when we walk backward it go to 180 when we go forward it go to zero go right it's 90 in direction go left minus 90 so in 180 or minus 180 it go backward so let's just apply that as well so in here what i want to do i want to say walk okay walk backward okay and this walk backward because it is walk the speed should be 180 and because it walking backward the angle or direction should be 180 and it should be minus 180 okay that's cool now let's just test it hold control you can see it going backward everything is working fine but we didn't do nothing about the run so let's just find run and we have run left because it is run the speed should be 400 and because it's going to the left the direction should be minus 180 if you click on it again it will it will show you the direction is minus one minus 90 and the speed is 400 if you click in here because it's going forward in this animation it the direction is zero and the speed is 400 so let's just hold a space and let's just go to run it go it can run forward and it can run to the left everything is very beautiful so let's just apply the run right as well to here okay the run you know that the speed should be 400 and the direction should be 90 like we put it in here no run backward and the run backward you just pause the video test it 
and tell me what we should do about this run backward. You do it. Pause the video and after that we solve it together. I hope you could do it. So let's just do it together. So when we run, the speed should be 400. Okay. And because this is backward, the direction is 180 or minus 180, right? So where we should put it, we should put it in here that the speed is 400 and the direction is 180 and we should do it for 400 as well for minus 100 as well so now with that if you hold control you can see we can go run forward run right run backward and run left run um, backward again and we can go to idle as well everything is cool right we don't have any problem so let's just save this and go to our animation blueprint and no, this is another exercise for you. I will stop the video here and in animation blueprint, use this uh, Blender Space 2D that we just create in the animation state machines or wherever you want. Just do your own things and decide where you want to put this, where do you want to use it. And in the next video, we will solve it together.